Victor, and you won't believe how he's doing it. Kadek Adiana, good morning. Good morning, Neil. SBS French. Caroline Bouzran, vous faites partie d'un groupe d'amis et de soutien à Kadek Artayana entre Melbourne et Sydney à vélo dans quelques jours. Imagine going on a tandem bike ride from Melbourne to Sydney. That'd be hard, right? Imagine doing it if you were blind. That is exactly the journey which has just been completed. Australian of the day, Kadek, you are the Australian of the day. Congratulations, mate. Uh, thanks, mate. Hey guys, so it's Kadek here. And for those who just started following us and wanting to know my story, so I'm Kadek, I'm 30 years old, I was born in Bali. I came to Australia in when I was 10 and yeah, I've been in Melbourne now for nearly two years. So what inspired me to do this ride from Melbourne to Sydney is basically like my, with my own journey with blindness. So I lost my left eye when I was 10, just before I came to Australia and I lost my right eye through trauma 10 years later, so when I was 20. So life was hard for me living with blindness. Like I had a career before I was a carpenter and I had everything and I lost it all through blindness. So it was difficult for me. And for eight years, eight and a half years, I was just living with depression and yeah, I was overweight and I didn't know what to do. Like I didn't want to live blind. So in 2019, I came to Melbourne and yeah, it, it just was a different life for me. And I didn't know anyone here, I didn't have family. And that's when God, God Dog Victoria came into my life. It just showed me a way and showed me that there is life after blindness, you know? And that's one of the reasons why I like to give back to God Dog is because what they have done for me personally in my life to live independently and going to this amazing journey and we're riding with a purpose, you know, to raise money for God Dog Victoria. And our target is 50,000, but it costs so much to raise those dog, and it's worth it to see people like myself to live independently. So we don't have to rely on a lot of people to go places that we want to do. We don't have to just sit at home and do nothing. So this, that's why one of the reasons why I want to ride for God Dog is to help them fundraise for these amazing creatures. So yeah, guys, follow us on social media and thanks for your support. I appreciate your message of love and encouragement. Thanks for this moment and thanks for your sponsor and your encouragement and we appreciate it from each and every one of us and we wouldn't do this without you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey Solta, we thank you for all your donation and we thank you for your sponsorship and we appreciate it and thanks for the clothes that you gave us. Thanks Solta. Chez Mademoiselle. Chez Mademoiselle. Let's go to Marcus. Ciao. What's happening, Kadek? The tire's full of mud. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went through the mud, we saw kangaroos. And... Sergio is eating. It's amazing, my butt is so. We got lost, but we made it. Morning. Getting ready for today? Getting ready for the mission. I've got granola. Alright, <laughs> <laughs>
All I am is a man. I want the world in my hands. I hate the pain. How do you feel? Oh, I ah. Ah. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's a great day. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have an adventure. Head in the clouds, but my gravity center. Touch my neck and I'll touch yours. You and those little high waisted shorts. She knows what to think about. What do you think? We've done 208.5. How many k's today? 98.5. How many k's in your butt? Uh, two million kilometers. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I'm putting cream on my shorts so my fat butt is not so <laughs> but good. Look at Dario has a headache, headache because of his eyes. He also has uh, some headache. Lucky we have the panadol. Hey. Some eye drop. Oh, you here and now to lend me your oh, 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 both your hands and we hold. What's happening, guys? The pie is flat. Really? Yeah. And lazy kills are here. And now 235 kilometers total. My butt is still surviving. My leg is dead. <laughs> but guys, it's worth it. And worth it for this little bugger here. So and for donate. some, yeah, please donate. And seriously, I'll do anything. I'll do it again for people who live with blindness and vision impaired to have a guard dog and to live independently. We've got another flag tire. Did you say? Give breath away. I wonder there's not much to say. Sometimes the silence guides the mind. Throw it to a place far away. Goosebumps start to raise. The mid to my left and meet your ways. Day four, Kadek. Don't know what you face, put my fingers in your tongue cause I love the taste yeah. This art's a door, everyone the other beats are the spoil Inside this place is one, outside the size you pour Coming down, <laughs> one low, yeah, two rooms, one low in a house No shirt, no blouse, just us, you find out No matter what it won't say about, no Cause it's too cold oh, 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 you here and now So let me oh, 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 oh. So this is day four. Dario butt is gone. gone. My butt is gone 200 kilometers ago. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. And I think of all the things what you doing. Flat butt. <laughs> Still there. Cause since I've come home, well my body's been a mess. And I miss your ginger air and the way you like to dress. Won't you come on?
day number seven we are in a different house every night since the last seven days Okay, what happened? Too many hill. How many? Too many. How many? No, it's one long one. Really long one. After yesterday climb, oh. <laughs> 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 um, motivation. Then I think about Lavinia. Like imagine if someone have Lavinia in like in like a, a version of Lavinia and it make me feel good, you know? Like someone out there who live with blindness have a guide dog. It'll make me feel good. Did you have to go to jail? Did your eyes have up the cell? Did you get a good low? Yeah. One. Come on, They ate, guys. Oops. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> See you guys. Good luck. Buddy, you're okay to talk to Neil? Neil Mitchell? Yeah, yeah, all good. Well, I heard about this. I actually love this. I wanted to see if we could help with this little fundraising effort. It's for Guide Dogs Victoria. On the line is a man, a blind man, who was helping raise money for Guide Dogs Victoria, and you won't believe how he's doing it. Kade Katiana, good morning. Good morning, Neil. Where are you? Um, we're 180 kilometres away from Sydney. And how are you getting to Sydney? I'm riding my tandem bicycle from Melbourne to Sydney. How long have you been on the road? Um, one week now. 100 oh. kilometres per day. Oh, good going. What's it? How hard is it as a blind man to be riding a... I know you'll have somebody leading, but to yeah. be riding a tandem bike, what's it like? Uh, for the last two days it was tough because we're climbing mountain, but besides that it's really good because I have my good friend with me here. Hang on, we'll have a chat to you off here. Good on you. Thank you. Jeez. Atiana. I had no idea about that as we started discussing the background. I just wondered how he lost his sight. Extraordinary. Loses one eye to being stabbed in the eye as a child and another eye when he's attacked as an adult. Blind. Yeah, yeah, but um, everything happened for a reason and to be honest, like, my life is amazing now. Like, they, they g it gave me a purpose being blind, you know? And... And... That's one of the reasons why I want to do this ride. I want to show people out there, no matter what you're going through or what situation you are going through, like, if you are determined, you can achieve anything, you know? Good day. Yo. That was incredible, mate. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, mate. Well, I just can't believe it. We rode over 730 kilometers now. We're one, 180 kilometers away from Sydney. And we're doing it one kilometer at a time and seriously you guys can achieve anything you put your mind to it you know like blind or not blind it doesn't matter what disability you have or anything if you believe in yourself you can achieve anything remember what your body achieve your mind believe Sydney! <laughs> the last kilometer! <laughs> Are you ready? 
was a long journey, a hard journey, tough journey, but we made it in one piece. We made it. To her. Now imagine going on a tandem bike ride from Melbourne to Sydney. That'd be hard, right? Now imagine doing it if you were blind. That is exactly the journey which has just been completed by our next guest. His uh, uh, name is uh, Kadak and he joins us uh, now to have a chat about these things. Mate, uh, congratulations. That is Thanks a very, very serious thing to do. Now, how did yeah. you do it? So um, I rode from Melbourne to Sydney and we, I did it with a group of friends. I rode the whole way, so we did 100 kilometres per day, 900 kilometres all up, and we did it in nine days. Now, you wanted to raise some serious cash. You were able to do so. Um, how much did you raise? Who's it for? And we raised over $12,000 and it's for Guide Dogs Victoria. How good is that? Congratulations, mate. So tell me about the role that a guide dog plays in your life. So a guide dog came into my life in August 2019 and like, I struggled with blindness for a, for a long time and they came into my life and it just made everything so much better to help me to live independently. Good man. Well, we do a thing each and every night where we crown somebody the Australian of the day. Kadek, you are the Australian of the day. Congratulations, mate. Uh, thanks, mate. <laughs> Thank Excellent. you very much. No prize money, no pins, it. but you get to call yourself the Australian of the day. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Believe in yourself, it's the best investment. You can do anything. <laughs> Lavinia and all the pain from my past. Like, if I could survive that past, I could survive this ride. What's waiting for you in the future? I really want to be a mentor out there to young kids out there who are lost and who, who think they don't have a purpose. I really want to be a mentor and I want to show them that they can do anything and help anyone. Won't you come on over to make it full of me? Why don't you come over?